being too nice. Yes, you heard that right. While being nice is undoubtedly a wonderful trait, there comes a point where it can hold us back from living our best lives. If you're tired of constantly saying sorry and find it challenging to say no, this video is for you. 1. Recognize your patterns. The first step in breaking free from the cycle of being too nice is to recognize the patterns that keep you trapped. It's like peeling back the layers of an onion, you need to understand what's at the core of your behavior before you can change it. Take a moment to reflect on your interactions with others. Do you often find yourself apologizing unnecessarily? Maybe you say sorry even when it's not your fault. To avoid conflict or keep the peace. Are you constantly putting others' needs ahead of your own, sacrificing your time, energy, and happiness for the sake of others? By acknowledging these patterns, you begin to understand the root causes of your behavior. Perhaps it stems from a deep-seated fear of rejection or a desire to be liked by everyone. Whatever the case may be, recognizing these patterns is the first step toward liberation. 2. Set Boundaries Setting boundaries is like drawing a line in the sand, defining where your comfort ends and your needs begin. It's a vital skill that empowers you to protect your time, energy, and emotions. Understand that it's okay to say no when something doesn't align with your values or priorities. By setting clear boundaries, you're creating a framework for how others should treat you and how much you're willing to give. This doesn't mean shutting people out or being rigid, rather, it's about creating healthy limits that foster respect and understanding. When setting boundaries, it's essential to be clear and direct. Clearly communicate your limits and expectations, using I statements to express your feelings and needs. For example, instead of saying, you make me feel overwhelmed, you could say, I feel overwhelmed when I have too many tasks on my plate. It's also crucial to be assertive but respectful when enforcing your boundaries. You don't owe anyone an explanation for setting boundaries, your needs are valid simply because they are yours. 3. Practice self-compassion. Being too nice often stems from a fear of disappointing others or being seen as selfish. However, it's essential to remember that taking care of yourself is not selfish, it's self-care. Many of us have been conditioned to prioritize the needs and feelings of others above our own often neglecting our own well-being in the process. But here's the truth, you cannot pour from an empty cup, practice self-compassion by treating yourself with the same kindness and understanding that you would offer to a friend. Imagine a close friend coming to you with a problem or making a mistake. You would likely offer them words of comfort, encouragement, and support, right? Now, why not extend that same level of compassion to yourself? Be gentle with yourself, especially when you make mistakes or fall short of your own expectations. It's easy to be self-critical and beat yourself up over perceived failures or shortcomings. However, self-compassion involves acknowledging that you're only human and that making mistakes is a natural part of the learning process. 5. Surround yourself with supportive people. Breaking free from the habit of being overly accommodating can be an uphill battle, particularly when you're in an environment where your kindness is taken for granted. It's crucial to curate your social circle deliberately, surrounding yourself with individuals who not only acknowledge your boundaries but actively encourage you to uphold them. Seek out relationships with people who appreciate your authenticity and value your well-being as much as their own. These supportive individuals will serve as pillars of strength on your journey to breaking free from the constraints of being too nice. Their encouragement and understanding will empower you to assert yourself confidently, knowing that you're not alone in prioritizing your needs and aspirations. 5. Embrace Imperfection Let's talk about embracing imperfection. Many of us are conditioned to strive for perfection in every aspect of our lives. We believe that if we're not flawless, we're not worthy. But the truth is, Perfection is an impossible standard that only leads to frustration and self-doubt. Instead of chasing an unattainable ideal, embrace your imperfections. Understand that it's okay to make mistakes because they're an essential part of the learning process. 
Your worth is not determined by how much you do for others or how flawlessly you execute every task, celebrate your quirks, flaws, and idiosyncrasies, for they make you who you are. You are worthy of love and respect just as you are, imperfections and all. Be kind to yourself and remember that you are enough. 6. Practice saying no. Finally, practice saying no without feeling guilty. Remember that every time you say no to something that doesn't serve you, you're saying yes to yourself and your well-being. Start small by declining minor requests or invitations. And gradually work your way up to more significant challenges. With practice, saying no will become easier, and you'll feel more empowered to live life on your own terms.